Welcome to my very first vlog. And today we're talking about my honeybees. Last week, I posted a video here on my YouTube channel about the possibility that a hive had been brought to the Isle of Man from across. Now that's illegal because we don't have the varroa mite here. We also don't have um, either form of fowl brood and we want to keep it that way. Uh, natural beekeeping is still very much possible here. We don't have to use chemicals um, and the honey and the beeswax that come from our bees is extremely healthy. And we're very proud of that. Now, considering that I've just interviewed Harry Owens about this, I went and visited my bees today thinking that I'm just gonna be moving them to a different hive since the one that they're in right now is a bit decrepit. Um, but as I started lifting some of the frames out, I noticed that there were mites on my bees. I was devastated, absolutely devastated, in shock. I took pictures, I ran home, well, I drove, <laughs> and uh, I sent the pictures to Harry, called him, he didn't pick up, I was panicking. Uh, he called me back, he'd been mowing the lawn, and um, he had a look. And fortunately, they are not Varroa, thank goodness. It's a type of louse, uh, a bee louse, that feeds on honey in the hive. And it's relatively uncommon throughout the rest of the world because it's killed off with the chemicals that you put into hives to ward off Varroa. But we still have it here on the Isle of Man. And apparently it's not a big deal. I've never seen it before. But, oh my gosh, that was a panic moment for me. What were the chances? What were the chances? Anyway. Today, I successfully moved my bees into their new painted hive with a brand new stand that I've painted and refurbished. And I hope that it'll be a better place for them. The old hive was, well, it's been around housing them since 2011, 12, something like that. And just getting a bit dank and, and icky. So hopefully they'll like their new hive. However, this is my aggressive hive and or colony. And in talking with Harry last week, I've also decided that I'm going to requeen it this year. I've been a little bit reluctant to do it. The thought of taking the queen out, destroying her, and replacing her with a different queen just didn't really sit well with me. But these bees just follow me. Um, as soon as I as soon as I approach the hive, they're after me. Um, when I go into the hive, it doesn't matter how calm I stay, how much smoke I use, they are just in a cloud around me. And then when I'm finished, they follow me up to the car, they come into the car, oh, they're just a nuisance. So more developments on that later this spring. But in the meantime, my bees in Laxi are safe and well and in a brand new hive that I hope they're going to be happy with. 